to my channel. Thank you guys so much for all your love on my last video, on the new cut. I'm so happy with it and I'm glad you guys are too. Not saying that I'm gonna continue to like grow it out all the way because y'all know how I get, but I just feel like the more that this cut grows out is the better it's even gonna continue to look, you know? Um, so I'm excited, we'll see. I also am obsessed with the color, no more fade. It's just, uh, it's really nice and just vivid and beautiful. So today I'm really excited. We're gonna get into a wash and go together. But we're doing things a little bit differently now. Like every time I cut my hair and have like a new shape, a new style, it causes me to kind of switch up my wash day like technique and even sometimes products and stuff. And so for this style in particular, the more volume is the better it looks. So we're gonna be experimenting with wash and goes to see how I can get more volume, but still have that really nice juicy kind of curl definition in there. So what I did on my last wash actually, which we're looking at today is day four hair from this wash right here. So I styled with the Avita Styling Treatment Foam plus my Brio Geo Frizz Control Gel. This is like my most lightest weight gel that is like super curl defining. And then obviously foam is really great for volume. But what I noticed with this foam, and as you guys can see, we're a little, I mean, honestly, this is not looking bad. I could easily refresh this and it's fine. I feel like I didn't get enough hold. It gave me the volume for sure, which that's what we were going for, but I want a little bit more hold and a little bit more shine. So today we are going to use this. I've heard so much good things about the dupe, specifically their Mousse Death texture foam. I've heard it's amazing. So on the thing it says, it detangles, conditions, defines, and shines all in one step. It's supposed to be a one product styler that gives your hair everything that it needs. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna get into a wash and go, see what kind of volume and results we can get from this. I may also try to pair them together just so I can get a little bit of additional hold and curl definition. So I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to see how this turns out. So let's get started. So to start, of course, we need to wash and condition. I'm gonna run through this really quickly. Shampoo, I have been absolutely loving the Way Detox Shampoo. I use this almost every week, sometimes every other week. Bomb.com, a really great cleanse and really great reset for your hair without overly stripping it. It's perfect. With my hair at this length, I'm not really detangling. I'm actually not using a brush at all. My hair will actually completely frizz out at this length. That's one thing I noticed. When it's longer, brush, no problem. But when it's shorter, brush equals frizz. So we don't need to do all that. So instead of actually detangling with the shampoo like I was before, instead I am detangling at my deep conditioner step. So today I'm using the Not Your Mother's Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom Nutrient Ridge Butter Mask. It smells amazing, it feels super delicious in my curls. So I'm just going through and like I said, detangling with this, adding some moisture. Then I just leave it in for a few minutes while I finish up the rest of my shower and then fully rinse it all out before we get into styling. So of course, the gardeners are out as soon as I'm filming a video. Anyways, we're just gonna ignore if you hear any of that stuff outside. It's time to get into the fun part, which is styling. I'm gonna start by sectioning my hair. I'm not gonna do like super small sections, but small enough. Like I feel like that's decent. My hair is still pretty wet and like dripping a little bit from the water, so I actually don't feel like I need to add any more water. We're gonna dig in to this mousse. Y'all, I'm really excited to see how this is gonna turn out. So I'm just gonna take this and start combing it right in. Ooh, okay, first of all, smells amazing. Second of all, you can see it immediately, immediately defining the curls, which is great. The thing with a voluminous wash is, yes, we want volume, but we don't want it without, at least I don't, personally, that's my, Opinions, what I'm going for is that I like my volume to still have some curl definition. Obviously, it's not going to be as defined as it normally would because you need to sacrifice a little bit of curl definition for volume, but you don't have to sacrifice all of it. So far, this is feeling really, really good in my hair. I'm just gonna go ahead and saturate this entire section with the mousse. And you see all this foamy? That's what you want when you're using mousse. I know it can kind of be like, especially if you're used to just using gels, on your wash day, styling and seeing all this foam is kind of like, oh my God, did I use too much? But no, no. I'm probably gonna add a little bit more. <laughs> the foam is good and it'll go away once it starts to dry. 
I'm just gonna separate some curls a little bit because it's like super clumpy. Okay, now I'm wondering, do I just use the mousse by itself, which is what it's marketed for, or should I still go in with a little bit of the Rio Geo gel? I don't know, because this is feeling honestly pretty good in my hair. I don't know what to do, what should I do? Should we just put this mousse fully to the test and just see how it works on its own? Should we do that? Am I gonna be mad if it doesn't give me enough hold? Probably, but it's feeling really good in my curls. Definitely a little bit different from the Evita. This is how we're looking. Seriously, it looks really, really good. All right, I think we're gonna put this one product to the test. Ah, I'm nervous. Actually, the good thing about mousse is that my hair will probably fully dry, like really quickly. This feels really good. We're gonna put this to the test. I'm just using mousse today, period. I'm nervous, but we gonna do it. Feels good so far, so. I mean, it's honestly feeling really good in my curls and any little knots that have kind of resurfaced, it's like gliding right through. So it does have a little bit of slip for detangling but it is obviously pretty curl defining as well. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. I have never used such a lightweight product to style my hair just on its own. <laughs> I hope this comes out good. I'm trying to get these curls separated because see, this is like one big clump. We don't want that. on the do Instagram page you see these bubbles that come out when you pump out the product I know our um, our instinct is to rub our hands together but they say don't do that just apply it directly to your hair because those bubbles help the product work better so that's like how it works to help to define and do all the things to your curls so that's one tip I'm trying to make sure that I'm following all their instructions so it works the way that they say it's supposed to is there such thing as using too much mousse I mean, I don't think so. <laughs> I hope not. When I have bangs, I like to style them forward a little bit first, just so they can kind of get in formation, you know? I am just really, really curious to see how this is gonna turn out when it's dry and how this is gonna last over the next couple of days. So this is how we are looking right now and I can't lie, my curls look and feel amazing. Curls are clumped and really nice and defined. They feel nice and happy and healthy. They feel hydrated. Um, so I'm really excited to see how this is gonna turn out. Right now, I'm about to go ahead and diffuse my hair and I think we should be able to potentially get it dry fairly quickly. At least that's what I'm thinking for mousse. So let's do that and check it out. All right, so this is after 10 minutes of diffusing. Literally 10 minutes and we are, what would I call this? I would say maybe 60% dry. It's not dripping anymore or anything. There are like still some wet spots and stuff, but mostly like, especially my roots are pretty dry, which means it's well on its way to fully drying, which is amazing. Also, curls are popping, okay? I don't see like one frizzy spot, not even in like my trouble area. Everything is super defined and <laughs> I'm really excited. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this kind of air dry the rest of the way and I will continue to do check-ins with you guys, maybe today and also on in tomorrow and probably the next day as well, maybe. We'll see, cause I gotta get this video out. But yeah, so far, so great y'all it's only been a couple hours later and my hair is fully dry like fully dry <laughs> so this is how we're looking this is crazy because that is literally unheard of whenever i use gel it always takes like a full day full 12 hours before my hair is dry especially if i'm not like diffusing very long so curl definitions pop in we do have a little extra volume. Like this is a lot of volume for day one. We're gonna pump it up in a minute to see how much volume we can get. But curl definition, volume, shine. I mean, the shine is definitely there. And my hair feels amazing. It feels like light and fluffy. So I know, of course, as we go on into like day two, day three, day four, we're gonna have um, a lot more volume. I do have lots of curl clumps that I need to Kind of separate a little bit 
But yeah, I am so like shook right now because I did not expect it to look this good. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is there is this new like finisher spray. This is the Uncle Funky's Daughter Glossy Hair Finishing Polish. It's like a spray oil that you can use in your hair. It smells really amazing. Shout out to Crystal, my hairstylist, for gifting this to me. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of like spray it in. Give us a little bit of additional shine. And then I'm gonna kind of crunch and fluff to see how much more volume we can get today because I do need to film a couple other things today. So I'm trying to get my hair prepped and ready and see how nice we can get this on day one. Day one, what? I'm so shook. So I'm just gonna do this, kind of fluff those roots out a little bit. I mean, my hair feels so good. It's just so light and fluffy and I love it. Like, did mousse just become my new favorite thing? I would have never ever thought in a million years that a mousse on its own could have given me these results. Never. So I think it's safe to say that this was an absolute success. I am obsessed with the fact that we got these results on day one. The only thing that's in my mind now is how long is this gonna last? Let me know in the comments what you guys think, um, but don't leave yet because I am gonna do a couple of check-ins over the next couple of days so we can see how it continues to last, but <laughs> so far, so good. All right, friends, this is day two. So you can see a couple little frizzies are starting to appear, but I'm not mad at it at all because guess what? The entire head of hair is still so defined. It just still looks so pretty, happy, and healthy. And I literally did not do anything to my hair last night. I went straight to sleep on my silk pillowcase and that's it. I didn't tighten up on it, didn't do anything, and literally just took a shower, fluffed it out, and this is how we're looking. For a mousse on its own, I'm still shook. I am still so shook and excited because I feel like this is about to be my new go-to. This is it right here. Honestly, I'm kind of mad it took me so long to try this product and to try mousse on its own in general because, wow. To really, really seal the deal, I think I'm gonna do one last final check-in tomorrow for day three curls. If day three is still kind of looking like this, I mean, that's gonna take us to day five. Maybe we'll need to refresh a couple of frizzies here and there, but I really don't imagine that we're gonna wake up tomorrow with like a frizzy mess. You know what I mean? I feel like it's still gonna look popping. So I'll be back tomorrow for the final check-in, but the hopes, the hopes are high. Okay, y'all, day three, still haven't touched it, and I, I'm really happy. I'm really happy, really excited, literally still sleeping just straight on my satin pillowcase. No bonnet or anything necessary. Still seeing a little couple frizzies like in my bangs and stuff, but nothing crazy to where I even feel like I need to refresh or anything. I can literally just fluff and go and I'm happy with it. So honestly, I think we can go ahead and safely call this a successful wash and go. I am officially obsessed. Like this just became my new favorite styler for my hair. I am so freaking happy. I think the one thing that I am most happy and impressed with is the fact that we still have very strong curl definition. I would have been worried if we had curl definition on day one and maybe even on day two, but if by day three, the curl definition started loosening and then we started to get more frizz, I would have kind of been like, meh, okay. It is mousse, whatever. But I am still shook at the fact that the mousse was able to get these curls defined and still like day three, still on and popping. No worries. I mean, <laughs> this is worth the happiness. So bottom line, run, don't walk. I wanna see some more of y'all try this out. And if you do try it just by itself or watch it go, please tag me. Please tag me, DM me, email it to me, Whatever the case may be, I want to see your results with this as well. I'm also thinking about trying this on my mom. Comment below and let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that. If y'all want to see it here on YouTube or do y'all just want to see it in IG stories, whatever. Did I also mention that this is black owned, by the way? Black owned. So, I mean, I just, there's nothing. There's not even one thing about this that I don't like. So, yeah, guys, that is basically going to be it for this video. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Thank you so much for following along with this wash day trial. I will check out next week for the next one. Bye.